hope you're well. We had some really good feedback on the last video that showed you how to measure an angle. So today we have a video for you that's going to show you how to measure a reflex angle. Um, it's really simple, there's only three steps, so hopefully you will find this video useful. First things first, however, we need to ask the question and be able to answer um, the question, what is a reflex angle? Now a reflex angle is an angle that is greater than 180 degrees, so it's bigger than 180 degrees. However, it's less than 360 degrees, so it's smaller than 360 degrees. How I like to picture it is that it's an angle that goes beyond a straight line. We know that a straight line is 180 degrees and that is going to be really useful information in today's lesson. So um, imagine a straight line, a reflex angle goes past that. A reflex angle is greater than a straight line. Another top tip which I find quite useful for identifying reflex angles is in a reflex angle, the arc here looks as though it's on the outside of the angle. Whereas in obtuse angles, acute angles and right angles, um, the arc here looks as though it's inside the angle. So that may be useful um, in helping you to identify reflex angles really quickly. Now onto the main part of the lesson, which is how to actually measure a reflex angle. So here I have my reflex angle and um, there's three, three steps really to finding out how big a reflex angle is. So step one, you are going to need a pencil and a ruler. I put a ruler up here, my class knows that um, we do not try to attempt to draw a straight line freehand in maths, we always use a ruler. Well in most subjects to be honest, we, we use a ruler. Um, I obviously do not have a ruler to, to hand, but what I do have is this um, dashed orange line that I created earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that dashed line um, on the end of this angle to almost extend it into a straight line. Now where there is a dashed orange line is where you will draw um, your line with a pencil and a ruler. It doesn't have to be dashed, you just need to extend um, the, the angle so it, it is a straight line. Once we've done that, we know that this part here of the angle is 180 degrees because we know that a straight line is 180 degrees. And that is step one done. So step one's really easy. Step one, continue that angle so it turns into a straight line and then you know that that part of the angle is worth 180 degrees. Step two, we're going to measure the remaining angle, okay, the angle that's left over, the angle that isn't part of that 180 degrees. Um, you should all be quite confident in measuring angles because that's what the last video was all about in the last lesson. If you're not, please do refer back to that video um, and become confident in measuring angles before you move on to measuring reflex angles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to put the tip of the protractor here with the tip of the angle here. So I'm just going to do that now. And I'm also going to make sure that the line of the protractor is in line with the line of my angle. So I'm just going to have to turn my protractor slightly, just like that, lovely. Okay, and now the easy part. We're just going to measure the remaining angle. So starting at zero, we have 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees. If we zoom in, I'd say that's very close to 45 degrees. So we know that the remaining part of this angle here is 45 degrees. And that is step two done. Step three, hopefully you'll all find really easy because all we're going to do is add 
180 degrees and 45 degrees together. Now, lots of you can probably do this in your head really quickly, but just for the sake of this video, um, I'm going to use column addition. So I have 180 degrees, add 45 degrees, zero add five is zero, uh, it's five. Eight add four is twelve. One add one is two. So we know that this reflex angle is two hundred and twenty five degrees. I hope you found this video useful. And remember, if you have any questions, please do email your teachers on Purple Mash or you can get your parents to email the class email address for each teacher. Um, we all hope you stay safe and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Bye.